Jonathan Jones, last year's undrafted rookie, was in the defense as the starting slot cornerback that was over uh, Cyrus Jones, that was over Eric Rowe, and that's pretty interesting. Uh, so I guess the broader question is, who gets the most amount of snaps between those three players in 2017 on the Patriots defense? What do you think go? Well, if I had to guess right now, before seeing how the rest of the summer is going to play out, I would guess Eric Rowe. Mm -hmm. Eric Rowe's not a slot corner by any right. means, but my thought going into, um, going into the season is that Eric Rowe is going to come onto the field similar to what he had last year when Logan Ryan was in. He will come onto the field, bump either Stephon Gilmore or Malcolm Butler into the slot, depending on the matchups. And maybe right. if it's three, if it's three bigger wide receivers, maybe you could see some Eric Rowe in the slot. You see, I think they're going to move these players around a lot. Right now, I think he's the third best cornerback on this mm -hmm. team. But it, yeah, it was very interesting to see Jonathan Jones out there. I think, I mean, obviously it's very early. I think they kind of just wanted to have Malcolm Butler, Stephon Gilmore out there as the the two starters in their usual spots, and then. Basically, it was just a, I think it was a choice of Jonathan Jones over Cyrus Jones, which right. you can't really argue right now, given the way that Cyrus Jones performed at the end of the last season. But yeah, it's definitely going to be a, an interesting battle going forwards. How do you see this shaking out? You know, I, I would probably lean towards Rowe as well, but it actually kind of behooves the Patriots to not put Eric Rowe yep. on the field that much this season because if he plays, I think it's less than 50% of snaps and the Patriots only have to give a fourth round pick to the Eagles. I think so, yeah. And I think if it's he a plays third, yeah. more than 50% of snaps, then they have to give the Eagles a third round pick for Rowe. Uh, Rowe is signed through 2018, so even if he doesn't play that much this season, we're all assuming that Malcolm Butler is probably gone after this season, then Eric Rowe would be thrust into a starting role in 2018, so that would still make that trade with the Eagles worthwhile. Still having him as that third cornerback would be worthwhile. So, I mean, it might be Jonathan Jones if they think that if he has a really impressive camp as that slot cornerback, if he can step in and play that, that old Kyle Arrington role or even the last year's Logan Ryan role, then maybe we will see that. But Overall, I still expect to see Deron Harmon as the fifth defensive back on the field most often. That would probably kick Patrick Chung down to the slot. But we could see a change there this year where maybe if Patrick Chung takes another step back, then Deron Harmon could come in in nickel situations. Then they bring a cornerback, whether it's Jonathan Jones or Eric Rowe, on the field on third down. So uh, I guess if... Like, I'm uh, <laughs> mixing a lot of efforts in my head right now. Uh, feet to the fire, not gun to the fire. Um, I guess I'd say row, yeah. but it's, it's going to be interesting.